So I want to know something. How did Woodger get the taxpayers to all agree to spend $9 million on a brand new jail, take away the pool and all the youth sports leagues, and think that it was the right decision? I mean, obviously now the kids have nothing to do. They're all going to end up messing up or going to jail. I mean, hopefully not, but it's just crazy how they're running this place. It's about to be like a police state is what it feels like. Since the last time I talked to you guys, I've had two cars impounded over bullshit. I parked a, a little too close to a, a, a yellow you know, curb or something like that. They put a sticker on there, 24-hour notice. They impounded that. And then, during the winter, I wrecked and broke my tie rod, and I had to park it on the side of the road. And then they, the next morning, they came and towed it and tried to tell me I owed them 400 bucks plus $200 to release it. Now, I mean, they're just trying to do anything and everything they can in order to get that money back and to show everybody that it was a real good decision to to spend nine million dollars on a jail and I looked it up and Alton's jail which is twice the size of Woodrow's jail was only seven million dollars so it's pretty ridiculous I, I've talked to a lot of people that feel the same way I mean I don't ever plan on seeing the inside of that jail but I mean there's I mean, there's no jail that should, they, they should be spending $9 million on. I mean, it's probably real nice where all the cops are, you know. Because I know they ain't spending the majority of that money on an inmate. Madison County is still ridiculous, I'm sure. I haven't heard of anything changing there. <clears throat> and now that we got the, uh, the stay-at-home order and and all the bars shut down. You got the Alton wife, the Alton mayor's wife getting caught at a bar that was being ran illegally. And I guess one of her old friends sold a, a picture, an old picture of her and the owner of Woodstock busting out some lines of coke. And, you know, that, that obviously got taken down really quick. And it's just it's just crazy how things are around here anymore. I mean, you can't even drive around the block without seeing two or three cops. And the cops are even at Walmart now. I'm not I'm not even gonna start started on this COVID nineteen bullshit, but it's just ridiculous how Woodrow, Madison County, Roxana, just how they treat everybody. They actually, they were on the news. Woodrow police chased out two black kids with that were wearing those uh, medical masks in Walmart. It was it was all over the papers and shit. They had they recorded them. It was on Facebook, and not even a week later, there's hundreds and hundreds of people going in there with masks on, and not one of them got anything said to them. So. I mean, it's just crazy what these cops are getting away with. Like, I got pulled over, I guess it was uh, a month ago, and they they tried to say that I was drunk, and I, I don't even drink at all. So I get out, I do all my sobriety tests, everything. I had to stand on one foot with a foot six inches above the ground for 30 seconds. I had to count from one Mississippi to 30 Mississippi. I had to do the pin thing back and forth, you know, 50 times, and then blew the breathalyzer, zero, zero, and they still made me walk the line. And after all was said and done, there's nothing, they searched my car, did everything, and they wrote me a bogus ticket saying I, I didn't uh, use my blinker. And I was, they were behind me when I was going straight. There was no reason for me to use a blinker. So, it's just, they're money hungry. I'm taking the shit to court. I mean, it's probably going to end up costing me more, but fuck them. I mean, it's worth a try. But 
I'm gonna get back on here. I'm gonna start talking all the shit about Madison County that I can find out anymore because it's just crazy. Everybody needs to know. People need to do something about it.